Today let's see a fracture question part C text 12 okay first question in the first paragraph the writer uses E1 cutters words 2 so here they have specified uh, E1 cutters words okay so I'm going to the paragraph uh, millions of people who suffer sleep problems also suffer myriad health burdens so multiple health burdens so they are talking about the health burdens in addition to emotional distress and cognitive impairments these can include high blood pressure obesity and they are talking about other associated conditions okay in the studies we have done almost every variable we measured was affected again they are talking about affected okay there is not a system in the body that is not affected by sleep. So they, they say like there is no system without getting affected. So they said here not affected, not a system. They couldn't see any system without being affected. Okay. So most of the keywords whatever we have seen is like health burdens, condition, affected. Okay. His words are from here. In the studies we have done almost every variable we measured was affected okay he is talking about the uh, variable we measure was affected he is mentioning this word again here when we check every time we sleep deprive ourselves things go wrong okay let's see the options to find out what he says explain the main causes of sleep depression this is about causes he is not mentioning about the causes. He is just telling it is getting affected. So this is wrong. Reinforce a view about the impact. Impact is right. Impact is something like getting affected, right? So we have to uh, hold on with this point. Question some research findings about sleep deprivation. He is not questioning, right? He is telling the system is getting affected. Describe the challenges involved in the sleep depression research. He is not talking about any challenges, but he is telling about the um, impact or uh, getting affected only. So this is the right option instead of causes, question and challenges. These are wrong. The next question is, what do we learn about sleep in the second paragraph? We learn about which is this question. We'll see what they are talking about okay a common refrain among sleep scientists about two decades ago was that sleep was performed by the brain in the interest of the brain so before uh, two decades they are telling like sleep was performed by the brain in the interest of brain this is an idea okay that wasn't a fully elaborated theory which means not explained properly but when they say but, they say like it wasn't wrong. It is not explained completely, but still it is not wrong as well. So this I am taking into consideration. It is not wrong. Numerous recent studies have hinted. This is a, a idea and they are telling it is not fully explained in the past. And uh, it is not wrong as well. Um, here in recent studies they are mentioning and here they have said like hinted what they what it is hinted at the purpose of sleep okay by confirming that neurological function and cognition are messed up during sleep loss so when you are not sleeping neurological function and cognition cognition are getting messed up with the patient reaction time mood judgment all suffering if they are kept awake too long so they are giving an idea that sleep was performed by the brain in the interest of brain this is past idea they said like two decades ago and then they are telling like it wasn't wrong okay not explained but still it is not wrong but when we say like not fully elaborated in the next line they have stated like hinted hinted means recent studies has given some of the evidence that neurological function that is the function of brain and cognition are getting messed up okay 
so confirming in the sense it is giving some evidence hinted and confirming i'm taking into account okay now let's see the options scientific opinion about its function has changed in recent year it is not changed they are confirming now right there is now more controversy about it than there was in the past they never said like controversy but they said like hinted and confirmed so confirmed means now they are confirming only they are not contro controversy they are not giving any controversy statement so this is wrong researchers have tend to confirm yes confirm earlier ideas yes about its purpose yes this is right studies undertaken in the past have formed the basis of current research studies undertaken is not given because they said like uh, that wasn't a fully elaborated theory so this is wrong so i will go with c option okay now ninth question what particularly impressed bob mccarley of harvard medical school so particularly impressed inference question so i need to check where he got impressed okay this is about bob mccarley um, third paragraph in 1997 bob mccarley and colleagues at harvard medical school found that when they kept cats awake by playing with them a compound known as adenosine increased in the basal forebrain okay as the sleepy felines stayed up longer and slowly returned to normal levels when they were later allowed to sleep so here they have mentioned like adenosine increased when they are uh, staying awake okay and return to normal levels okay when they are allowed to sleep mccarle team also found that administering adenosine to the basal forebrain acted as sedative putting animals to sleep okay so again they are telling the same thing administering adenosine into the uh, basal forebrain acting as sedative okay which is allowing the animals to sleep additional okay uh, it should come as no surprise that the caffeine which blocks adenosine receptors keeping us awake okay two statement they are telling like when cats are awake adenosine is getting increased in the basal forebrain this is first statement second statement they are telling like if you are administering adenosine into the basal forebrain this is acting as a sedative sedative in the sense it is affecting um, and uh, it it allows animals to sleep so which they are reconfirming that caffeine acts as a uh, compound which blocks adenosine receptor which allows animals to keep it awake okay teaming up with bashir and others mccarley later discovered that okay as adenosine levels rise during sleep depression so do this statement you have to take into account because this is comparative they are telling like adin as adenosine levels rise during sleep depression so do concentration of this kind of comparative gives your answer so here they are telling when the adenosine level rise okay concentration of adenosine receptors also so that's why they are using as and so do magnifying the molecules sleep inducing effect so whenever adenosine level rises receptor level also rises that helps in sleep inducing effect this is what given in last two lines and they are reconfirming because here they have given like two stage the brain has cleverly designed as two stage two stage defense against the consequences of sleep loss this two stage what they are mentioning is adenosine levels as well as receptors so this line states your answer and let's see like what is given in the option the effect effectiveness of adenosine as a sedative this is right but this is only partial the influence of caffeine as caffeine on adenosine receptors this is an uh, like example right the simultaneous production of adenosine and adenosine receptor both adenosine and adenosine receptor is given this is partial this is partial the extent to which 
adenosine levels fall when subjects are allowed to sleep again this is only about adenosine levels so uh, a b d is partial but c is giving the option of both adenosine and adenosine receptors how it is getting impacted so i will go with c instead of a b d because those are partial answers okay so any inference question if you have something like this comparative us so do um try to observe more and uh, get your answer and it has been repeated again like two stage defense which they mean adenosine level and adenosine receptor so i'll go with c option 10th question in the third paragraph what idea is emphasized emphasized stressed okay by the phrase by no means be all end all okay let's go to the phrase uh okay till here i have already read so let me focus from here to here adenosine may underlie some of the cognitive deficits that result from sleep loss which means um adenosine may have underlie means some of the base like foundational uh, right some of the cognitive deficits which means sleep loss may have like um, many symptoms out of which adenosine may give some of them mccullay and colleagues found that infusing adenosine into rat basal forebrain impaired their performance so impaired their performance means reduce their performance on an attention test so when you are infusing adenosine it is reducing their performance similar to that of similar to that seen in sleep deprived humans so it is similar to which means not equal but it is um, same because here they have given like may underlie underlie means few here they have uh, underlie is base and sum of sum means only few so uh, here i could say like similar uh, this word also i am taking into account but adenosine levels or by no means by no means being all or end all so this word with respect to similar and uh, underlie some so which means there are only few of the uh, symptoms that is cognitive deficits may result from adenosine infusion which is same like uh, sleep loss that is does not equal maybe few so that's why they are telling like not being all and end all this is what i could understand let's go to the option sleep deprivation has consequences beyond its impact on adenosine levels yes because with this line adenosine may underlie some of the cognitive deficits that result from sleep loss yes it has some effects but not all so this is right we'll go for b adenosine levels or the or a significant factor in situations other than other than is not given it is similar to right the role of adenosine as a response to sleep deprivation is not yet fully understood the role of adenosine as a response to sleep deprivation is not yet fully understood this not yet fully understood is wrong because the role of adenosine is clearly given here uh, when you infuse adenosine into rats basal forebrain they said like it is impaired their performance so this is the role but here it is given like not yet fully understood which is wrong the importance of the link between sleep depression and adenosine should not be underestimated should not be underestimated underestimated is not given so i cannot go with this option so with the first line adenosine may underlie some of the cognitive deficits with this word and similar to i am going for option a instead of b c d okay next what are sorry what was significant about findings so here they are talking about significance about the findings in van quater experiment so i have to check what are the findings Mm, okay over a century of sleep research has revealed numerous undesirable outcomes 
from staying awake too long. In 1999, banqueters and colleagues had 11 men sleep in the universe. So this is the experiment they conducted. For three nights, they, uh, they spent eight hours in bed. Then for six nights, they were allowed only four hours. Uh, so occurring what Van Cutters call as sleep debt. So this is called as sleep debt. Okay. And then for six nights, they could sleep for, for up to 12 hours. This is sleep recovery. So for three nights, they spent eight hours in bed. Then for six nights, it is only four hours. So it is reduced. Right. The next, so this red, reduction is sleep debt. And then they are telling like they are allowed to sleep up to 12 hours. This is sleep recovery. Okay. During sleep debt and recovery, researchers gave the participants a glucose tolerance test, found striking differences. So, uh, they have checked glucose tolerance test uh, and they found something like uh, some differences. Let's see what's the difference. While sleep deprived, the men's glucose metabolism resembled a pre-diabetic state. So, sleep deprived is when they are at the state of sleep debt, they are in pre-diabetic state. We know it, it would be affected, says Van Carter. The big surprise was the effect being much greater than we thought. They know it, uh, they know it is getting affected, but it is much greater. That's what they are talking about. So, basically, they are doing an experiment. And they are allowed to sleep for some hours, that is 8 hours initially. And then they are reducing to 4 hours, that is called sleep debt. And then they are allowing to sleep for 12 hours, that is sleep deep, uh, recovery. During sleep debt and recovery, they are uh, given glucose tolerance test. And uh, they found some changes, okay, between sleep debt and sleep recovery. That is what they are uh, talking about here. While sleep deprived. So, only during the sleep debt time, they found pre-diabetic. Okay. So, this time it get affected. That is what they are telling. Like, we know it is getting affected, but it is way larger. Now, let's see what is the options being given. The rate at which the sleep deprived man entered pre-diabetic state. Rate they haven't spoken. Yes, sleep deprived men entered a pre-diabetic state. This is right, but this is partial. Only they are talking about deprived. They, know, they haven't spoken about recovery period. Uh, it is between both. The fact that sleep deprivation had an influence on the men's glucose level. This is same. There is an influence that again it is only about sleep deprived. Uh, the differences between individual men with regard to their glucose tolerance. It is not difference between individual men. The extent of the contrast in, in the men's metabolic states between, yes, this is right, between sleep debt and recovery. A, B, they are partial answers because it is only about sleep debt um, they have given. But recovery they haven't mentioned. It is, if you see the uh, results... Here they have spoken about during sleep debt and recovery. They have given the tolerance test and they found the difference. Okay. So while sleep deprived, they found they are entering into pre-diabetic state. But here they are talking only about sleep deprived, not about uh, recovery phase. So I will go with D option. Okay. It should be between sleep debt and recovery. In the fifth paragraph, what does the word it refers to? So, I have to concentrate on it. Right? So, if I move on. So, here is the word. This is because it degrades the energy molecule. So, they say like it degrades the energy molecule. Adenosine uh, triphosphate ATP to produce adenosine monophosphate. And uh, this results in the activation of something they have provided. So, I have to refer back. To the previous sentence, echoing one Carter's result, Basir has found evidence that enforced lack of sleep sends the brain into catabolic or energy consuming state. Okay. Here they said like evidence. They found some evidence. What is the evidence? 
enforce lack of sleep so when you are enforcing lack of sleep brain is uh, brain is into catabolic or energy consuming state okay so if i move on to options new evidence if i replace it with new evidence new evidence degrades the energy molecule evidence cannot degrade the energy molecule so evidence is wrong and enzyme degrades here there is no enzyme i have like enforced lack of sleep or catabolic or energy consuming state either enforced lack of sleep or catabolic energy so enzyme is not the right word catabolic state catabolic state is energy consuming state but here they have said like degrades the energy so energy consuming and degrades the energy will not energy consuming state degrades the energy molecule which is wrong so it it is not suiting the paragraph so i uh, sorry it is not suiting the statement so i should um, sorry catabolic state is energy consuming right so with this energy consuming it is wrong now d if i put like enforced lack of sleep degrades the energy molecule yes that is right so this goes with the answer so d is the right one instead of enzyme which is not given evidence cannot degrade the uh, here the statement says that degrades the energy molecule so here evidence cannot degrade the energy molecule so it is wrong catabolic state the other word they have given here is energy consuming state so energy consuming state cannot degrade the energy molecule so this is not also suiting the statement only enforced lack of sleep can uh, degrade the energy molecule to produce um, adenosine monophosphate so i will go with option d now 13th one what aspect of her findings surprised so this is again inference question so we ne we need to find what aspect so in particular something is surprising her what it is okay so if you see this paragraph from here i could see the team's effort within the brain scientists have glimpsed signs of physical damage from sleep loss and the timeline for recovery if any occurs is unknown so they are telling like they saw something like physical damage uh, from sleep loss and timeline for recovery if any occurs is unknown so they mention like recovery um a timeline is unknown here they have uh, uh, mentioned about uh, cerelis team and they have said like they found structural changes in the cortical neurons of mice when the animals are kept awake for long times so changes they have observed which we call it as physical damage right specifically uh, cereli and colleagues saw signs of so what changes they are telling like mitochondrial activation and they uh, mention it more like neurons need more energy to stay awake okay that's what they they have mentioned like when animals are kept awake for longer periods they see some changes that is mitochondrial activation as well as unexpected changes um, such as so along with that they see something like unexpected changes what are they undigested cellular debris signs of cellular aging that are unusual in the neurons of young so along with the uh, physical uh, changes what they are uh, observing which they have already mentioned they see something unexpected that is undigested cellular debris uh, which is unusual okay unusual in young healthy mice so this is something um, they get surprised so the number of debris what they observed was small but they they added like it's worrisome because only 4 to 5 days of sleep depression so only short period of sleep depression still in young healthy mice has undigested cellular debris which is surprising for her after 36 hours of sleep so 4 to 5 days means they said like 36 hours of sleep recovery a period during which she expected normalcy to resume but she expected normalcy to resume but changes remain the same which means they could observe some of the debris which is unusual 
so what they basically said is there is a physical damage recovery is unknown and uh, what are the damage they have mentioned like changes they observed is mitochondrial activation unexpected is they could see some of the debris which is in young healthy mice uh, it's worrisome because it's almost like four to five days only they expected it to return but it didn't uh, return changes remain this is what they have mentioned so when i go for the options they have mentioned like there was no reversal of a certain effect yes no reversal they have mentioned like changes remained okay certain effect certain effect is the debris what they mean so this is right we'll see the next option also the cortical neurons of the mice underwent structural changes yes changes yes right but uh, unexpected changes also to be mentioned so this is partial the there was evidence of an increased need of energy in the brains of the mice yes increased need of energy is given that is related to structural changes but the unexpected again they haven't provided this is also partial okay uh, the neurological response to sleep deprivation only took hours to become apparent apparent is clear view like how it will be yes the changes are right all these are partial answers it's not like complete they are only talking about the changes but they are not talking about uh what they mentioned like unusual there is cellular debris which remained it is it is not, it is expected to uh, resume but it didn't so this is a so this these are partial okay now uh, 14th one in the final paragraph the quote from van cotter is used to suggest so they are talking about the quote let's see what he is uh, saying further insights could be drawn from the study of shift workers and insomniacs so they are uh, trying further uh, um, uh, data could be drawn and uh, they are from the shift workers and insomniacs who serve as natural experiments so they are trying one more experiment with these people on how the human body reacts to losing out on such a basic life need of chronic periods so if you, basic life need is sleep right so when you are taking for chronic periods which is long period what is the effect but with so much of our uh, physiology affected an effective therapy other than sleep itself is hard to imagine so our physiology is getting affected if we are looking for an effective therapy other than sleep okay we are not sleeping but is there any other uh, um, way of uh, solving it they said like hard to imagine people like to define a clear pathway of action for health conditions so for any health conditions um we are trying to find out a clear pathway which means a solution with sleep deprivation everything you measure is affected so when you are sleep uh, deprived they are telling like everything whatever you are considering it is getting affected interacts synergistically to produce the effect so the impact what they are talking about so here they are telling if you are aiming for any kind of treatment it is very hard to define and we are trying for uh, a solution but still we couldn't because everything wh whatever you measure it is affected so that's what they are telling now if i go for the option the goals of sleep deprivation research are sometimes unclear it's not about the goal they are talking about the solution right it could be difficult to develop any treatment yes this they have mentioned here uh, an effective therapy other than sleep itself is hard to imagine yes this is right opinions about the best way to deal with sleep uh, depression are divided or divided is wrong not stated there is still a great deal to be learned about the effects of sleep depression to be learned not given we know that uh, everything what we measure is getting affected so this is something wrong and we couldn't find a clear pathway so this is your option b is the right answer hope you understood thank you